Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Blogger and in this video I want to show you how you can create a wave distort effect in VSCC free video editor. Now wave distort effect like other distort effects is a really interesting and unique distort effect and it is actually super easy to create in VSDC. So without further delay, let's get started and see how you can create this effect. So what I have with me is this demo video. I've already imported this demo video in the editor and to create a wave distort effect, the first thing which you need to do is click on the video in the editor, then go to video effects, go to transforms, select distort and click on OK. Now, once you click on OK, look inside the distort effect settings, which is present inside the properties window and the type is currently set to faceted glass. So click on the drop down list and select wave. Now, inside the wave type, the two options which we are really interested in is frequency and amplitude. Currently, both are set to 0 and 0. So, if I just quickly change the frequency to 10, and if I just quickly change the amplitude to 10, you will see the wave distort effect on the screen. As you can see, this is the wave distort effect. So, if I just quickly play the video for you, This is the wave distort effect with a frequency of 10 and an amplitude of 10. Um, let me just quickly shorten the duration of my distort effect. And let me just... So this is the original video. And uh, this is what happens when you apply the wave distort effect. Now you can play around the values. So if I just quickly change the frequency from 10 to 20 as well as the amplitude from 10 to 20 you will see different results on the screen again this is the normal video and this is the distort effect now what we are really doing is we are seeing all this in constant parameter value all right so let me just change it to linear parameter change so that I have two values. So as you can see earlier, it was just one value. Now I have two values. So let me just quickly, currently 2020 is set in frequency. So let me change that to 020. And uh, in amplitude, again, 2020 is there. So again, let me change that to 020. And now if I just quickly play the video from the start, Notice what happens when the distort effect takes place. So as you can see, gradually you see the distort effect coming together. Now let me just reverse the values for you. So currently it is 0, 20. So let me just do 20, 0. And again in the amplitude also, it is set to 0, 20. So let me just do 20, 20 0. And let me just play from the beginning and now if I just play the video for you gradually you will see the distort effect kind of unwinding one another option which I'm really interested in is this one called angle and uh, let me just make the frequency as 0 once again and the amplitude as 0 once again and let me just now change the frequency to 15 and the amplitude also to 15. I just wanted to show you what happens when I change the angle. So, so the currently the angle is 0 degrees. So if I change it to 15 degrees, notice the difference on the screen. As you can see, there was a slight tilt in the wave effect. Again, if I just change it to 30, if I just change it to 30, again, as you can see, there was a slight tilt. So this angle option will help you to kind of uh, give an angle to your wave distort effect. And finally, again, let me just reverse the values. So 15, 0, again 15, 0, and finally 30, 0.
watch the video on the screen. Let me just shorten the duration. Now again watch the video on the screen. So that's it guys. This is how you can actually create a wave distort effect in VSDC free video editor. Play around these values of frequency, amplitude and angle. And uh, you can actually, you know, use any value as per your need. Do share with me your thoughts in the comment section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.